just inhaled bird dander. Why am I so tired? Oh my god. You're not supposed to be awake right now. I have about half an hour before I wake the birds up. As you can see, they're still sleeping. I mean, not really. I can hear them moving around in there. So I like to use this time as a bit of peace and quiet because once I take that sheet off, chaos. One of them is literally on the floor right now. Where'd you go? Oi, what are you doing? It's not time to wake up yet. I should probably wake them up now. They're awake. There's no point in waiting half an hour. I just wanted to do my skincare in peace and quiet, but that's obviously not happening. But I have a little ice cube. It's in the shape of a heart. It's cute. I am just going to put this all over my face to wake me up properly. It's kind of like a facial ice bath. It's still the same benefits, you know, like it helps with puffiness. It helps wake you up. It's just really nice and cooling. Like, it's really nice and wet. My arm is literally soaked. That's, that's very uncomfortable. I usually use a serum and a moisturizer in the mornings. So until I get some more of that... I've just been using this CeraVe moisturizer, which is my nighttime moisturizer. But since I've been using it full time, my skin has broken out. These birds, oh my God. Right, I'm not gonna be able to get a word in. <coughs> Let's wake the birds up. attempt to do my makeup with the birds why do i look like that anyway there's no sense of quietness in the morning i told you guys i told you oh my god i need to get in my makeup drawer can you stop picking my hair please i can fix it people think i have blonde breakage in my hair no it's just charlie when the birds are really bad like this morning. I like to put on some lo-fi beats. Lo-fi? I don't know. It usually calms them down. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can calm them down because oh my god, I feel like I'm going insane. OMG is this lo-fi. Comfy. actually so funny that they're so loud and crazy in the morning and just absolutely psycho and then as soon as i turn on the lo-fi or lo-fi tunes however you say it this is how they act oh my gosh are you for real look at you just preening away making yourself all beautiful for the day yes i don't know if you guys knew but like fun fact about birds is they have to preen every single one of their feathers every single day. That sounds so exhausting. Like that sounds like a lot of work. It would be like having to cater to every single individual strand of hair on your head instead of just like brushing it all in one go. Like it's a lot of effort these birds go through. No wonder they're loud and angry and hormonal. They go through it. Y'all, there is dust everywhere. Oh my gosh. Now that I can actually talk to you guys. Hi, how are you? I feel like I haven't been able to talk to you for the last hour. Yeah, I'm just doing my makeup for the day. I really do not have anything planned for today, but I really like putting makeup on because I feel like I'm showing up for myself. I find on the days that I don't do my makeup, I am a lot lazier. I'm a lot less inclined to do things. Whereas if I do my makeup, you know, I can do stuff. I don't know why. I'm just built div. Like, I'm just, my brain is just built div. The girls really enjoy when I do my makeup as well, which 
you can obviously tell they're quiet now, they're calm. They just love using this time to preen themselves, make themselves all pretty for the date. Like me, it's like I'm preening for my date. No, I don't like that. We're not gonna say that. We're just girls getting ready for the day. But it honestly has been a hot minute since I have made a bird video. I'm sorry. I know a lot of you guys are very excited for my bird content and I've just been really absent with it. Love my birds and I do love filming with them. But as you can tell from this morning's segment it's very hard to film with them most times i try and film with them it's impossible because they're just squawking the house down they're screaming there's no calming them down unless they put on the lofi tunes <laughs> lofi good i don't know why that's their kryptonite it's their weakness they love a good lofi tune they're just an indie girl at heart you're just so indie oh my god charlie really likes nostril scratches i don't know why but if you scratch her nossy oh Scratch the nosy, yeah. Emma likes a good nostril pat as well, but she's a bit more like, oh. she's a bit more like fussy about how you scratch. Like if you're not doing it right, oh my God, it's like a ticking time bomb. She's so scary. Oh, see, what, what did I do? What did I do? You know when people do baby voices or like dog voices, I have such a bad scratch. bird voice. Like when I talk to my birds, I sound like I'm from a different planet. Like I don't, like I'm almost embarrassed to do it. I'm just like, oh my God, little choco mark, look at you, like. Who the fuck was it? Like, I don't know what that was. You can wait like two seconds, okay? Oh my god, you're so cute. How could I resist? I have two hands for one reason only, and that is to pat two birds at the same time. Some days it's just really hard to film with them. You just shy. You haven't pooped once. Where are you pooping? Secret. Are you holding it in? Wait. Come on, get out of there. Do not go down there again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just inhaled bird dander. Are you kidding me? You're not allowed over there. Forbidden. Ah, you're not allowed over there. As soon as I take my hand away. Ah, don't do it. The chai Don't will. do it. You're not allowed. Pass this line. Okay, there's a line. You're not allowed past it. I think she got the message. Heck, she's on to me. I know you're thinking about it. Don't do it, Charlie. Maybe if I play it cool and go. Ah. Oh, I just got mascara in my eye. Ah, what did I just say? <laughs> you cannot resist. You love a scratch your mind. Sneaky. Don't tell her. Scary. Told you. You guys are always asking me how I do with the poop. Let me tell you. Unscented baby wipe, a tissue, lifesaver. Okay, I'm back. Hee <laughs> hee. Oi! Get out of there. Makeup is complete. Looking a lot more familiar, a lot less... Ghouly. I have made myself a little goal that I want to read more. I bought books like a few vlogs ago and by a few vlogs ago I mean it was probably a few months ago now. It's been a hot minute and I haven't really read anything to be honest. I'm really lazy. So my plan is to read five pages every morning or every night. Just five pages in a day. That's all I have to do. I'm going to take the birds into the guest room with me. There's a nice bit of sun that comes through the window and it's gorgeous. I need to go get my book. So can you guys look after the birds for me while I go and get my book? I'll be two seconds. Make sure they don't get into any mischief, okay? Just, just watch them. Just watch them. I'll be back. Say this. Oh my gosh. book surrounded by idiots and it's actually so interesting like it's about people's behavior types and they're categorized by four different colors so red yellow green and blue and it has all the personality types here so like red is obviously more aggressive controlling convincing intense yellow is more creative talkative optimistic social inspiring needs attention is one of the points there i honestly think i'm yellow like instantly i'm yellow green is patient relaxed reliable loyal good listener helpful oh my god the best. blue is objective, structured, perfectionist, seems insecure, seeks facts. But yeah, it's really interesting. I've done my five pages and the girls are getting restless now. They're getting a bit crazy. So that means one thing and one thing only. It's breakfast time. Oh, 
OMG yes. Um, nah. She never wants her bowl, she wants my bowl. It's the same thing. No, no. <laughs> okay, Slay. Do I get some? No. You ate all the good stuff. Fatty. Bye. All gone. Give me more. They're always so funny because I make them a little bowl, which is the exact same thing as mine, except without the chia pudding in it. And they're like, oh, but yours is so much better. Like, what's in your bowl? Charlie is the worst for this. She just thinks she's obligated to my meal. Absolutely not. You've already had your breakfast. So what? You've had some cereal tax. Oh my God. Did you guys hear that? The house just creaks because it's so windy outside. That is crazy. But I've been really loving my chia puddings at the moment because... Oh no, I dropped a bit of cereal. I read about how beneficial chia seeds are for you. So I'm just like, try to consume them as much as possible. I think the healthy equivalent of chia seeds is two tablespoons a day or two tablespoons whenever. So I've been having either chia puddings or have like a salad or pasta or literally anything. And I would just sprinkle chia seeds onto anything. Like it's so good for you. Apparently chia seed is supposed to help fatigue, mentally focus better. It's supposed to help digestion. Like it helps a lot. Since I've been incorporating chia seeds a lot more into my diet, I'm feeling pretty good. The birds are particularly fussy when it comes to their fruits. So if I pretend to eat this, mm, yum, 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 yum. Charlie usually has a little nibble. Yes, good job. Good, look at that, she's eating it. Mm, yum, 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 so good. This is so delicious. Nah. She had one bite. I thought that I would open this little parcel that I got from my friend Mimi, who actually owns her own little small business where she creates bird things, like bird stickers, key rings, bits and bobs. It's so cute, it's amazing. And she sent me a little package, so I thought that I would open it. These are so cute. They're little bird pins. One is a cockatoo with a coffee. He's very tired. This is honestly a mood. This is me. And then we have a cockatiel. What do you think, Em? Honest thoughts? Scary. Oh, there's Mimi's socials as well. If you want to go follow her, support her. Definitely do. She's amazing. Next up, we've got a key ring. This is so cute. What do you think of the key ring, Em? Do you like that? Um, scary. I think this is so adorable. I love the clip. Like, I've never really seen a heart clip like that before. It's so cute. This is instantly going on my keys. And then she sent me a bunch of stickers as well, which we're going to go through if I can open the packaging. First up, we've got a little bumblebee. And then we've got two little birds having a little drink. This one kind of looks like you, Em. That kind of looks like you. She did actually draw Emma and Charlie, and here they are. They are so cute. These are probably my favorite things ever. I could be a little bit biased because they are my birds. 10 out of 10. And these are available on her website as well if you want an emma and charlie sticker like why would you not why would you not em that's you whoa and then that's charlie i also got three other stickers as well there's a yellow one and then we've got another white face cockatiel and then we've got the normal gray these are so cute i'll leave everything down below have a little browse support my friend mimi she's amazing i honestly think it's time for a little bit of sunshine a little bit of a bath maybe a little bath a little splish splash i love a splish splash and they'll spend a majority of their afternoon out there and i can use this time to edit in the quietness. Are you gonna have a bar? Oh heck yes. Let's go. Okay, all done. You gonna have a bath, Charlie? No, she made it stinky. It's so funny, she only ever has a bath if I'm repeatedly saying splish splash. It's the only way, otherwise she'll sit there and she'll be like, what do I do? All right, let's cook some lunch. Emma absolutely loves corn. She is gonna throw that. Oh, where's she going? Oh, yum. Straight to the corn.
it to you. I found the key. Charlie! I found the key to patting Emma is you have to compliment her because she's very self-absorbed. She loves the attention. Oh Emma, so gorge. So gorge. Stunning. And then Charlie, little beggar. Yes, beep bop. You love scratch no matter what. I do love scratch. <laughs> Seven twenty-four, and I put the birds to bed at 7.30. I had a shower, I had dinner. I watched the TV show with my boyfriend watching Game of Thrones. Oh my gosh, at the moment. And I've never seen it before. This is the first time I'm watching it. We're up to season eight and it's insane. It's insane, I'm loving it. But I've heard like bad reviews about season eight. But anyway, besides the point, the birds go to bed at 7.30. So I am about to put them to bed. Basically, I use this sheet that I put over them at nighttime because one, it's nice and cozy and it makes it nice and dark in there for them so they can go to sleep. Put the sheet over. But cockatiels are unfortunately, why do I look like that? Oh my gosh. Cockatiels are unfortunately prone to night fright. So the sheet kind of helps them with that. It helps them a lot actually. It helps them tremendously with night frights, so that's another reason I put the sheet over them. But anyway, enough fun facts. Let's put the beads to sleep. Oh, good night, Em. You're so grumpy. <laughs> Why are you so grump? Why do you look like that? You look so sinister. Oh my gosh. And then Charlie's having a little preen. Good night, Em. Good night, Charlie. And I'm literally just gonna pull the cover over just like that. And as the birds put to sleep, so I better be quiet because they do need their 12 hours of sleep. Otherwise they're gonna be so grumpy and so nasty. Like a bird that is tired is like the worst thing in the world. They're so grumpy. I'll leave the little lamps on just while I'm in here tinkering around like I'm gonna finish editing this video that you're watching right now while they sleep I might watch a little movie I don't know it depends what happens for the night but I'm so tired like I'm almost ready to go to bed right now anyway I'm gonna love you and leave you guys because I need to let the birds sleep so I will see you guys in my next video next Sunday at 6 30 don't miss it don't miss out okay we gotta be quiet goodbye <laughs>